I'm right down Main Street, and we are dining at every restaurant in Epcot's World Showcase. Today, we're checking out the beer garden. Located in Germany, the beer garden is actually one of my favorite restaurants here in Epcot. It combines elements of fun with live performances, an all-you-can-eat buffet full of German classics, and just an all-around great atmosphere. Now this is only episode 5 of the series, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more World Showcase dining to get to. But for now, let's head into the beer garden. We have made our way inside, and as soon as we walked in, I said to my brother, who I'm dining with today, I was like, oh, we should have requested a table on the lower level so we're closer to the stage, and uh, I forgot to do that. But we just so happened to get a table down here, one of the best tables in the house, stage right behind us. So we're going to have a great view of the show, and um, I can't wait to start eating. Volcom stew. Do you know what that means? You know Ryan is arguing with me because he's saying we should pronounce the beer garden as in beer garden. He thinks he's German or something. I am literally, I can't say, they're going to know that we're not. Simple. I am 80% German, and I took four years of German in high school. I also lived with my grandfather who spoke German most of the time. Um, so beer garten is like what you say in German, but we are American and speak English. So the American English version of it is just beer garden, and that's fine to call it beer garden. I don't know what Kristen's complaining about. Hmm, it's weird that you're 80% German and I'm not. Well, before we head up to the buffet, I noticed this little menu on the side that we must take a look at. It'll have all the beer offerings here. And when you come to the beer garden, I feel like you must get a beer. Thank you. Thank you, kind brother. Um, so they actually have a German beer flight that you could get, including the Schafferhofer, everyone's favorite grapefruit beer here. They also have all these other beers. They have a Bex, a Dunkel, a Wiss beer. Maybe Ryan knows how to pronounce that since he's German. Um, and you could get them in half liter or liter options. I always go for the liter of Dunkel. So that will be arriving at my table soon. We've got shots down there. Shots. There's also wine, wine flights, all the good stuff. And then also, what is German Spezi? German soda? Oh, so. interesting. Okay, so I have inquired about the German soda, and she let me know that kind of just like with Mexican Coke, it tastes a little bit different in Germany. She said the German Coke tastes just slightly different, but she said the Fanta, German Fanta orange, tastes way different than it does here in America, but they don't actually have them. Um, so it's not an option to order. <laughs> okay, so Ryan, you have been to the beer garden quite often. Let me guess your favorite thing on this buffet. I think I know it. <laughs> the apple strudel. Incorrect. Uh, no. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of their apple strudel here because it's like the, the breading is pretty thick, like thicker than traditional, and they like drench it in ice cream. So I, that's just, I would personally not go with that. I would go with the spatzel and the originally the pork schnitzel, but apparently now it's changed on the menu, which Kristen will fill you in on. Yeah, so like Ryan mentioned, the schnitzel on the menu has actually changed from the classic pork schnitzel to chicken schnitzel. Our waitress let us know of that change. The distributor, I guess, kind of just stopped the pork schnitzel. They stopped getting it, so they had to change over to the chicken. But she did inform us that starting in April, they are going to be making the pork schnitzel again, but making it in-house. So it'll be freshly made in-house pork schnitzel. Uh, we're going to have to come back to try that out because that sounds delicious. But as for my favorite things on the buffet, I would have to say the pork schnitzel was probably my favorite. I also really love the beer cheese soup with the pretzel rolls. That is always so good. And they also have a German mac and cheese up there, which you guys know I'm all in for. Um, so yes, just waiting on our beer. As soon as I get the beer, we're going to be heading on up to see what German delights we're going to be feasting on. We did just have a full-on photo shoot with my beer, and let me tell you, my arm is sore from holding that thing up, um, but the beer is so refreshing, it's all worth it. But while we wait for the band to come perform, let me show you guys what we've got on the buffet. As with all of the buffet restaurants that I cover here at Disney World, I'm gonna show you guys everything that they have on the buffet first, and then I'll make my plate. Starting off, we of course have all of our salads. They have some mixed greens, some dressing, and then looks like some potato salad, a, a German potato salad, a tomato salad, a bean salad, and then over here, we've got cucumber salad, some beets, some cheese, some liverwurst, and some ring bologna. I almost forgot the sausage salad. 
Continuing up next, we have our pretzel rolls with our cheese and beer soup. One of the best things on the buffet, if you're asking me. And then it wouldn't be a German buffet without sausage, of course. We have some bratwurst, some Regan burger worst. We'll go with that. Roasted potatoes and sauerkraut. And now we are coming up on a lot of the good stuff. We have a roasted chicken here, some green beans here, seasonal fish with a vinaigrette, which is always salmon. It's not really that seasonal. And then we have meatballs with gravy. They're more of like a German, think, think almost like Swedish meatball. And here's that chicken schnitzel that looks like a flattened uh, chicken tender. By the looks of it, that chicken schnitzel doesn't look like a schnitzel that much. And it really, like I said, it looks like a flattened chicken patty um, fried with like flour instead of the usual like bread crummy type thing that they use. Doesn't look quite as good as the uh, pork schnitzel used to be. There's also warm German potato salad that actually looks really good. We have some red cabbage. I see some spatzel right here. And then we have this, it looks like almost like a some type of beef. And then we have a pork here as well. And then this buffet is lined up a little bit different than usual Disney buffets because we've got the dessert in the middle here. And then if you keep going, we actually have a couple of things that are different on this side than we're on the other side, including one of my favorite things on this whole buffet, the macaroni and cheese. Look at that crust. We've also got some frankfurters, potato pancakes, and then some peas and carrots. I hear the band has started, so I'm gonna make my plate with a couple of appetizers, definitely that cheese soup and a pretzel roll, and I'm gonna bring it back to my table and catch some of the performance. Like I mentioned, the cheese soup and the pretzel bread is one of my favorite things here. I'll say it's probably not as good as the beer cheese soup that you could get over in Canada, but one thing that makes this one stand out is it's all you can eat, so you can have as much of it as you want. And I might go up and make myself a second bowl of that. It is so good, especially when you, di you gotta get the pretzel bread to dip it in the beer cheese soup. Delicioso. That's the wrong language. How do you say deli oh delicious in German? <laughs> okay, so, uh my family were never the best cooks, so I never had to say delicious in German <laughs> for any of the German food our we made. Family. Our family, our family. I'm enjoying my soup here, and they're calling up some dancers to the stage to join them. And this is when we need Mr. Claus, because Mr. Claus would be up there dancing with them. chance to use the dance floor Ryan get go ahead get up there get up there I'm not going up there well I'm not much of a dancer so I'm gonna pass on this um, but you can dance on the dance floor if you'd like I'm trying to convince Ryan to go up there Well, now that the show is over, let's go make our second plate of the day. I think the show lasts between like around like 15 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and they'll kind of call people up on the stage to dance if you'd like. Um, but yeah, we've enjoyed the show. Now let's make plate number two. All right, so for plate number two, I've got kind of like a little mix of everything. I've got some cabbage, some spatzel, some salmon, chicken schnitzel, green beans, some uh, 
brat and sauerkraut, and then a classic German meatball, the German favorite here. I know it sounds funny saying this, but the meatballs here at the beer garden are honestly one of my favorite things on the buffet. Um, I have another page called The Kingdom Crew, and I've mentioned this in a couple of other videos, but we make these videos where, I, I mean, I used to, where I'm like, oh, this is the most authentic British pub or Italian restaurant or German restaurant. And I say I have their German classic meatballs. And I said they were one of my favorite things. But I, I kind of wasn't kidding about that. Obviously, they're probably not very authentic, but they are very tasty, especially with that brown gravy. Now, I do want to try the chicken schnitzel next mainly because I was dogging on it because it doesn't look too good compared to the, what the pork schnitzel used to look like. No? It tastes like a fairgrounds chicken tender. And I stand by that. <laughs> it, it, it's breaded with flour instead of breadcrumbs. And I feel like a, a traditional schnitzel, now I've never had a traditional schnitzel, obviously, um, but I feel like this is not it. It's not bad, but it's not it's not nearly as good as the pork used to be. Definitely a downgrade. Some brat and some sauerkraut. Did they have any mustard up there? I could have used some mustard yeah, I think on this. They've got the like whatever the grainy mustard. Ooh, some grainy mustard. I might have to go back up and get some mustard. Cause some grainy mustard with the sauerkraut on this brat would be really good. Green beans. These look way overcooked. Too mushy but the salmon is something that I always enjoy from here. Pretty tasty. I feel like a lot of um, salmon that you get out in buffets elsewhere at Disney World is kind of just like super plain. It doesn't have much flavor. This one's different because it has that vinaigrette. So you definitely get a little bit of that vinegary kick from this as well. Pretty tasty. We've got our spatzel here can't go wrong. I like to mix the red cabbage in with the spatzel. We'll take a little beer break. One downside to getting the big beer is that if you don't drink it fast enough, it gets a little warm. Um, so there is that, but it's just a classic that you've got to get. But we gonna take a sip and then we're going to head up to the buffet and get plate number three. Okay, so for plate number three, I got, again, pretty much everything that I didn't get the first plate. Um, we've got pork here, the roasted pork that they carve. This is some type of like beef and a gravy. I've got some of the warm German potato salad, a potato pancake, which Ryan said is horrible, and some of the macaroni and cheese. Okay, let's do a little taste test here, starting with the pork. That's really dry. That's really dry. Um, this beef, it's pretty tender. It kind of falls right apart here. This should be good. Ryan, you should try a piece of that. You would like it. The gravy is very similar to the gravy that they have on the meatballs. I enjoy this beef thing. It's almost like a pot roast. Some warm German potato salad. That's pretty good too. I feel like a lot of the stuff here has a little bit of a vinegar kick, which I really enjoy. Potato pancake. That's cardboard. <laughs> that's cardboard. You can't convince me that's a potato. That is cardboard. And I saved the best on this plate for last, the mac and cheese. And look how I strategically got a corner piece. So I got all that. Good, good plan. I got all that crispy <laughs> cheese there, nice and crispy. Get some of that mac and cheese. So good, that is going to hurt my stomach later on. Oh, but it's so good. I need to get more of this. This was like the, one of the last couple of pieces up there. Mmm, those crispy pieces of the cheese. Looks like it gets fried on there. Oh my God, it's so good. Nothing like a good heat lamp mac and cheese. <laughs> The mac and cheese is one of the best things on the buffet, hands down. Without a doubt. Ryan, did you get some mac and cheese? Yeah. Delish. Pressure's on. Favorite thing on the buffet today? Meatballs, by far. There's literally no question about it. The meatballs were the best thing on the entire menu. Probably the least traditional of all of the German things. I mean, technically, Spätzle and meatballs is a really good combo for traditional German stuff, but not compared to the icons that are schnitzel and... Schnitzel and spatzel. And, and spatzel. And uh, green beans are really good too. Very heavy in the like 
caramelized, not caramelized onions, oniony type as well. But I haven't had the dessert yet, which is, I don't want to go move ahead of myself, but this apple strudel is delightful. German delightful, one might say. So we were done with all the entrees, and Ryan was telling me, he's like, you should do a video where you try everything on the buffet. And I was like, maybe a certain buffet, but not this one. There are a couple things. Like, I, I consider myself a very adventurous eater. I'll pretty much, like, try anything as long as it doesn't have mayo in it. But there are quite a few things on this buffet that have mayo. A lot of, like, salads with mayo. And there's also a sausage salad that just doesn't really sound that appetizing to me, as well as the liverwurst. It's almost like a paste of liver meat. Um, I don't think I can, I, I mean, I might be willing to do it just to say I tried it, but today is not the day. So I think I'm going to pass on that stuff. We're not trying everything on the buffet, but what we are going to be trying all of is all of the dessert on the buffet. We have acquired a plate of everything and something that uh, everyone got mad at me for saying in my Kingdom Crew video about Beer Garden is t when I talked about the brownie here, I said it was one of their classic desserts that they have in Germany. And it was really good last time, and it looks really good this time. Obviously, again, I know it's not an actual German delight, um, but you cannot tell me that this brownie does not look extra fudgy and good. So let's just start off trying this, this classic German dish here. Stop saying that. It's, <laughs> it's kind of offensive. It's so good. <laughs> Well, get a get a, a little bite of the pretzel. With the pretzel? Does the pretzel make it German? <laughs> that's what they think. It looks, <laughs> seems like that's what they're trying to do. I can't even get it. Okay, there we go. Actually, this is, will probably be so good because the pretzel will have a little bit of salt. <laughs> You're that's laughing. so fire. I'm not going to. No why is this brownie so good? I don't know, but trust me, guys. Now let's go for a bite of this Bavarian cheesecake here. Very light and delicate. Not my fave, very sour. Blueberry crumble. This looks good. That's almost like a cheese danish, but with blueberries on top. That is so good too. Little hint of lemon in there. Ooh, blueberry crumble and the brownie so far are the winners. Let's try this little like Black Forest Swiss roll situation we've got going on. Tastes a little pre-packaged. Is, is that a little Debbie? It might be a little Debbie. It's not as good as that brownie, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that authentic brownie. Yeah. Strudel, the classic, with plenty of that vanilla sauce on there. <laughs> That's good too. Going in for another bite of that. The vanilla sauce makes it. So it's not ice cream on there. It's just like, I can't even get this apart. It's like a melted vanilla ice cream almost having trouble breaking it. When you get some of that crust, the vanilla sauce and the apple in there, it's a, it's a German delight for sure. And we are going to round out our plate of German delights with the classic German favorite fruit, pineapple. Sour. And the other German favorite, a chocolate chip cookie. Honestly, that's really good. Really? It looks, it looks a little overcooked. I like my chocolate chip cookies a little overcooked and crispy. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like the viral Disneyland chocolate chip cookies from Harbor Galley, except those are warm. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same cookie dough that they use over there that on those cookies that have been like going crazy, um, except these just aren't warm in the center. But they look the same and they taste the same, I'll tell you that. Out of all of the desserts, I must say the brownie and the, the blueberry crumble cake are my two favorites. Apple strudel will come in at number three. Um, but yeah, overall pretty solid desserts here too.
Well, we are finished with our lunch slash dinner. So let's do a little bit of a recap. An adult meal here is gonna run you $49. And for children up to age nine, it's gonna be $27. And in terms of the quality and variety of the food that you can get at the beer garden, I think that's a pretty reasonable price. Typically a character buffet at Disney World will cost you around like 60 bucks, something like that. But I think, I, I'm not the biggest like character dining fan. Um, I still do it quite often. They're, they're fun at times but like you usually sacrifice the quality of the food for the characters and here I feel like that doesn't happen obviously because there's no characters obviously the food here at the beer garden is a little bit Americanized it's not like fully authentic to Germany I've never been so I can't fully speak on that but I just have to assume that's the case um, but in terms of all of the other restaurants in the world showcase I would say this probably has to be one of the like more authentic experiences almost and of course the entertainment is always fun which I do have to say this was a bit of a more like difficult video to film because I had a couple of obstacles in my way it's always a bit harder to film buffet videos because I always try and wait for there to be like no one at the buffet because I don't want to disturb anyone I don't want to kind of sneak in there and take my time going through things so it's always a little bit more difficult to do that and then of course it's a little bit more difficult when you have the entertainment to factor in because you got to wait for the music to stop to talk and everything so it was definitely more of a difficult video but it's definitely one of the more fun restaurants and it's still stands. I think it's one of the top three restaurants in the World Showcase. And I do think it is the best restaurant in the World Showcase if you are celebrating something. I think if you're like celebrating a birthday, especially like a 21st birthday and you're looking for somewhere to dine in the World Showcase, this is like the perfect place to do that. Get yourself a big beer, enjoy the music, have fun with your friends, little buffet to break up all the drinking you're probably going to be doing. I don't know. It's just such a fun restaurant that I love coming to in like a big group. Excuse me, sir. What did you think of the beer Gartan? Uh, normally, I'm not the biggest fan of gardens, and I don't drink beer, so I was shockingly surprised with how much I loved it. I've been here literally, at this point, 13 times. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of uh, Kristen's video whatsoever, but my family, used, our family used to go here all the time growing up, and uh, I've been here every other year for the past, the first 20 years of my life, and then a few times since I moved here, so... Nothing was unexpected, and I really did like it a lot. Best part of the meal, obviously meatballs and the apple strudel. Only disappointments, probably the, the chicken schnitzel was pretty disappointing. Agreed. Yeah, it was, it was rough. But we will definitely be back at some point. For now, I want to kind of talk about some of the other food offerings in the Germany Pavilion. And while from the looks of it, it doesn't look like the Germany Pavilion has that many things to like eat or drink, there are a bunch of like hidden places to eat and drink in this pavilion. One of them being the Summerfest right here, which is actually like their quick service restaurant kind of. They don't have a very big menu, which is why I feel like it's kind of like hidden in the back and that not that many people talk about it, but what they do have on the menu, they have a pretzel, that's new. They actually never had that pretzel here they have a brat which ryan and i enjoyed on new year's eve we had a nice little a glizzy for ourselves and then they have one of the best desserts in the world showcase the pretzel bread pudding for under five dollars this dessert is an absolute steal i don't think i've ever put it in any of my videos but they basically take like the leftover pretzel bread that we just ate in the beer garden and they kind of make it into a bread pudding with a delicious vanilla sauce and caramel on it absolutely must get dessert here in the germany pavilion and then of course you can get your beers back here and little secret for you when the like beer stands out in the front of the pavilion have a super long line usually there's no line here at the Summerfest to get beer and you can see there's quite a few people in line getting beer over there and they don't know that they could just come over here and just walk right up and get their beer instantly another little hidden kind of oasis if you will in the germany pavilion right next to the stein house you'll see this even smaller opening for i don't know what that really stands for but maybe it stands for like wine cellar i don't know that's kind of what it reminds what me of it? that's well, just my guess wine keller <laughs> wine cellar i don't know but they do have a bunch of other like alcohols back here so if you're looking for a little beverage a little treat they've got wine they've got mozart chocolate liqueur they've got pineapple shots they've got it all back here now obviously you can get these bottles of wine but you cannot open them in the park but they do have this bar back here Brian turns around <laughs> which again has two people at it 
when all the other beer stands in the front have so many people waiting. This is where legends are made. Next up, we're going to head into the Caramel Cooch, which is the caramel shop where there's caramel here in the Germany Pavilion. And obviously, you really can't go wrong with many of the offerings here. They have like some pre-packaged stuff, but don't just stop here. We don't, we don't want that pre-packaged caramel that Ryan's showing you guys. We want the good stuff in the bakery case over here. We've got the OG German Delight. There are butter bars. There are cookies. Cookie sandwiches with like caramel and buttercream in the center. Those are always so good. Another one of the best desserts here in the World Showcase. But honestly, anything you get in this display case is going to be excellent. I, I pretty much love everything in there. And not to mention, it smells amazing in here. Also, if the line is long like it is today, you can always just place a mobile order and then pick it up right away. Um, see, mobile order pickup is right there. I don't know why people wait in line when they can just mobile order. Um, but yeah, that's another little hack for you. Our last stops for food and drink in the Germany Pavilion are the two beer carts. We have one right here. You can see there's quite a bit of a line at, and then there's a smaller one right over there. Both have beer and pretzels. That's where you're gonna get those famous grapefruit beers on tap right over there. That one actually has no line, but usually these two have the longest line because they're like right at the front of the pavilion. But trust me, if you see a long line, just go to the back. The only Germany food and drink offering that we didn't talk about was the festival booth. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in Germany that you can eat or drink during a regular time when there is no festival. That stuff is always there. Um, so go enjoy the Germany pavilion. It's one of my favorite pavilions to eat and drink in. Overall, a magnificent day in Germany. Hopefully you guys get a chance to check out the beer garden. Like I said, it's definitely one of my favorite restaurants in the World Showcase, so it's gonna be a highlight of this series. We do still have so many more World Showcase restaurants to cover in this series. We're gonna be covering a lot more coming up soon, maybe even some of the fancier ones. Let me know down below in the comments if there's a restaurant that you guys want me to cover, and I'll try to get to those ones soon. Until I do, I wanna thank my Patreon members, Angela, Ashley, Barbara, the Calcanes family. Catherine, Lindsay, Misty, Shelby, Adam and Jen, Ann, Brittany, Karis, Chelsea, Carol, Daniela, Marcel, Dante, Dustin and Nancy, Emily, Ethan, John Paul, Christina, Leah, Tori, Lisa, the Martell family, Michael, Pickle, the Latham, Thomas family, Tracy, Wayne, Jermaine, Eric, the Weaver family, Janet and Gary, Stephen, Andrea, Jessica, and the Leibowitz family. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. How do you say bye in German? for bye. Tschüss. Tschüss. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen would be a, a, another one. Really? Tschüss is just bye. Goodbye is Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Tschüss. This, I'm listening to Google, not you. <laughs> <laughs>